What's up guys and welcome back to another eBay Miniature Rescue. Today we're going to look at the Macromat from TableWar.com. Now this video isn't sponsored in any way. I purchased this with my own money because I've been really wanting to upgrade my photography game. Now I heard about this on a podcast, a pretty good podcast that you should check out if you're into, you know, Warhammer and funny crap, honestly. Um, it is called Life After the Cover Save. So go check that out because, you know, while we're reviewing things, we might as well do that too. It's a pretty great podcast. I enjoy it quite a bit. And they talk to some pretty cool people in the Warhammer community. So I opened up the box to the Macromat and it came in a really nice carrying case. And everything folds down pretty small and it's super portable. So if you ever need to take pictures somewhere, you know, if you want to go outside and do something or just move it anywhere, it's not really a problem. It's really easy to assemble. And it comes with three really high quality mats that are just like a fat mat. If you've ever played on one of those, it's basically a giant mouse pad. And this is pretty much the same thing. It just clips onto the bar and it works really well. So like I said, there are three different mats that come with this kit. You've got a reddish cloud look, bluish clouds, and a white to blue gradient, which pretty much covers all of your order type of models, chaos models, and then kind of a general skyish background for something, you know, in between or just to change the look a little bit. For all the models I'm showing on the screen, I was just kind of, you know, putting each different background in just to see what it looked like, playing with some light settings, that kind of thing. I'm not too huge on the whole miniature photography thing. You know, I use my phone and a couple of LED ring lights. And obviously, generally, I'm on a black background. So I dip that light and then everything becomes kind of just stands by itself. But I'm really liking the way that these models stand off of these backgrounds. You know, I still have the issue of that turntable on the bottom and I'm not quite sure what to do with that um, so for now I guess I just have this black semicircle on the bottom of all of these but you know you get the idea and you can see how nice these models look against these really nice backgrounds one of the things that I really liked about these backdrops is that if you want to accentuate a specific color like the blues and whites in this case you can drop in the appropriate backdrop and those colors are really going to stand off. So you can see the blues a lot better here. And then when I switch it to something darker, like this red one, the, the guns and the armor start to stand off a little bit more. So it's nice to have those options all in the same kit. So I'm going to show just some regular pictures like this black coach, and that's just on a regular black background. And in this case, you know, these models still look pretty good but there's a lot more light hitting them and it's not really filling in anything and they don't look bad but then you compare it to this model and some of the ones after this and it just looks a lot more dynamic and it gives a better palette to the overall picture so i'm pretty happy with my purchase and i think you should go check it out so all this goodness came from tablewar.com and again this isn't sponsored at all I paid 50 bucks for this thing, which honestly is a pretty good deal for what you get. And I'm pretty happy. So all the links will be in the description. Go check it out. And I hope you enjoy, you know, better photography in future videos. Thank you again for joining me on another eBay miniature rescue. If you like this video, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing as it really helps out the channel. I've been Casey, and I will see you in the next video.